What's up, y'all? Today we're going to learn how to implement Chart.js using React hooks. Now, if you're wondering how I made this beautiful navbar right here with React routing and everything, the link to that video is in the description below, as well as the video to learning how to make a grid of boxes in CSS. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to be working in dank memes.js file, and I'm going to install two npm packages. The first one will be npmi dash dash save react chart js dash two. And while that's happening, I'm also going to be installing uh, chart js. All right, now I'm going to install chart .js, so it's going to be npmi dash dash save chart dot js. All right, so now we're done installing both of our packages. Now I'm going to import uh, chart .js into our application, and we are going to be making a line graph. So it'll just be import curly braces line from React chart .js dash two. And I'm going to create a const chart oops, chart data and set chart data. And I'm going to equal that to use state and just an empty object for now. All right, so now we're going to make a function that's going to set chart data. So it's going to have labels, our data, our background color, border width, stuff like that. So I'm going to do const chart is equal to and ES6 syntax. So instead of here, I'll do chart set chart data and I'll do labels. And I'm just going to do the days of the week, just so five days. So Monday, Tuesday, not Tuesday, day, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, oops, Thursday and friday cool so now i'm going to do data sets array object and instead of here i will do label and the label i'm going to give it level of thickness but it can be whatever you want uh whatever you want your graph to be um for data i'm going to do an array very simply so on the days i'm feeling especially thick i'm going to go probably 32 on Monday, 45 on Tuesday, 20, 12 on Wednesday, 76 on Thursday, and probably 69 on Friday. All right, now I'm going to do a background color, and we'll just do very simple. It'll be a blue color, so RGBA, 75, 192, 192, 0.6. And now I'm going to give it a border width, so it'll be the thickness of the uh, line. So border width, and I'll just do four, and I'll save that. All right, now I'm going to put our function chart in a use effect. So right outside of here, I'll just do use effect, and it should have automatically imported it. And inside of here, I'll just do chart, and right here, I'm gonna do an array. Save that, now if you see here, okay, we've imported it. All right, so now let's try and render our chart. So right underneath here, I will make a div. And inside of here, I'm going to do line. And I will give it Z data of chart data. And we'll save it. And let's see what it looks like. Nice. So it's there. We have the chart appearing, but it's too big. And I don't like the lines in the background. It's, it's, it's the whole lot of mess. So let's fix that. So to fix our issues, we're going to apply something called options to our chart. Options basically allows us to edit our chart. So we'll do options is equal to double curly brace. And inside of here, let's do responsive, oops, not responsive animation, responsive true. So basically responsive is, is that it allows you to be, it allows the chart to be the size of the container. So if our container is this div right here, I will just apply a, uh, a style to it of height being, let's say, 500 pixels, and we'll do width of, let's say, 500 pixels. And if we check it out now, we'll see that it is responsive to the size of the container. 
All right, so now you guys know how to change the size of your chart in correspondence to your container, but we're not gonna worry about that since we don't really have anything to display. Um, so let's go back into here and we'll get rid of the style tag right here. And we'll leave the responsive true there. It's no biggie. And now let's add a title, text, and I'm gonna give the title thickness scale. It's basically like the litmus scale, but thicker. All right, so display and true. And now I'm gonna do scales, and I wanna edit the y-axis of our uh, chart. So an array, object, ticks, and I'm gonna do auto skip, true, max, ticks limits, so let's do 10, and let's do begin at zero. Basically begins at zero, just starting the chart at zero no matter what. And now, right here, I'm gonna add a comma, and I'll do grid lines. Since I don't like the grid lines in the background, I'll just do display false. Cool. All right, let's see how this looks now. So I will just save it, and let's go back to our application. And we will see that it affected what we wanted to affect, but we see that the x x axis disappeared, but not the y axis. So I'm also getting rid of the x-axis as well, which will in turn affect these lines right here. So that'll be very simply right outside this array. I'll add a comma. I'll do x-axis, array, object, and grid lines. Let's do display false. Go back to it, and we'll see that we no longer have any lines. Cool, so that covers the tutorial in learning how to import Chart.js using React Hooks into our application. Um, try to import other charts on your own to learn more about this. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed, learned lots. Uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all laters.